Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to start a new session on Azure AI Fundamentals exercises. And in this session, we'll be covering text analytics. So let's explore text analytics. So this uh, link I have opened in a new tab here. So in the text analytics, what, what we will learn. Okay. So in text analytics, we'll be using natural language processing which is a branch of artificial intelligence that deals with written and spoken language. You can use NLP to build solutions that extracting semantic meaning from text or speech. So natural language processing formulates the meaning and responses in natural languages. Okay. Microsoft Azure AI service includes the text analytics capabilities in the language service. It provides some out of the box NLP capabilities, including the identification of key phrases in the text and the classification of text based on the sentiments. So we can do sentiment analysis as well. So for example, suppose the fictional Marjorie Travels organization encourages customer to submit reviews for hotel stays. You can use the language service to summarize the reviews by extracting key phrases determine which reviews were positive and which are negative. Analyze the review text for mentions of known entities such as locations or people. To test the capabilities of language service, we'll use a simple command line application that runs in the cloud shell. The same principle and functionality apply in real world solutions such as websites or phone app or mobile applications. So next, in this section, will create an Azure AI service resource and to create Azure AI service resource we are going to use language service if you haven't already done so create an Azure AI service resource in your Azure subscription now for Azure subscription I have a trial account for 30 days which I'll be using you can look for paid account or trial account you can get it created for yourself you can register for a your trial or paid subscription and then based on your subscription you go ahead and create these resources so azure ai service resources so in this section we will be creating an azure ai service resource you can use the language service by creating either language resource or an azure ai service resource if you haven't already done so, create an Azure AI service resources in your Azure subscription. In another browser, open portal.azure.com, which I have already done here. And after signing into portal, Azure portal, click create a resource and search for the Azure services. Select create and Azure AI service plan. You will be taken to a page to create Azure AI service resources. Configure it with the following settings. So first we have to go to Azure portal. Let me keep these tabs side by side. Fine. We'll just keep it this way. So here we'll create a resource. In the create resource, we have to search for Azure AI service. Azure AI services. Here in the Azure AI services, we can see Azure AI services. Just click on create. It will open this window. I'm using my free trial subscription and a resource group. I'll create a new resource group. Resource group Azure AI. Click OK. And this resource group will be created. I'll keep the reason as is. I'll give the name of the resource group as per a unique uh, name. It should be a unique name so that it will not conflict with any other resources. So I'll just give I'll just give R S C resource Azure AI S V C Azure AI service. And this is available fine. Pricing tier, I will take the standard S01. Okay, here you can see. And 
by checking this box, I acknowledge that I have read and understood all the tasks below. Okay. So this is for responsible AI use. Review and create. Once everything is verified, then we can click on create button. Okay. And this will initialize the provisioning of our resources. First resource group and then within resource group, Azure AI service will be created. Here we can see it's deploying all the resources and it's created now. Let's go to Azure AI service. So it's created and here we see the details of Azure AI service. In Azure AI service, we can see speech, vision, language, decision and for this, this session is for text analytics. So we'll be working with the language service. Before that, we need key and endpoints to work with Azure AI service resources. Once the deployment is complete, we are, we are coming to the sidebar where we have key and endpoints uh, details. We'll just copy this key and keep it here. That's the key. And then endpoint. So I've copied key and endpoint both. Next. We have to go to run to cloud shell. So let's go to run cloud shell section. Here we have to log into cloud shell. So I'll click here cloud shell and this will open cloud shell. Select power shell. So here we'll see power shell and bash shell both in the cloud shell. We have to switch to power shell. I'll confirm this and now we have switched to PowerShell. Now, once we are in PowerShell, you may need to create a resource, a storage resource to run this PowerShell, but you can follow these step three and four to make sure your PowerShell cloud is created. Okay. Or I create a new file share. Okay. So file share is required for this one. I'll just create a new file share. Okay, I'll click create storage and this is going to create a file shell. Going to cloud shell, I created a storage, a uh, file share storage under the storage account and I'm logged into that file share. Once the PowerShell is started, we are into this screen. In the next section, we'll configure and run a client application. To configure and run a client application, we need to copy this project from GitHub location. So we'll just clone this. I'll paste this command. And it is saying that it's already there. So for previous uh, hands-on like Azure computer vision, I have already cloned this. So now for text analytics, I don't need to do it again. You can see it's already saying that directory is already exist. If I do ls to list the directories, I can see a folder named AI 900. I'll do code space dot. This will open Visual Studio Code in the cloud shell. I'll just maximize this. So now we are into the Visual Studio Code. And here we can see various folders. Azure AI 900. Azure OpenAI, Cloud Drive, Microsoft folder, Windows folder, PowerShell scripts, right? So there are so many folders. Where we have to go now? We have to go to analyze text.ps1. That's the PowerShell script we have to open. So in under this folder AI900, we have to go to analyze text.powershell script. Next, here we can see it's taking key and the endpoint. So let's place the key and endpoint from this notepad. We are here copied. So our key will be this. And this will be our endpoint. And using, I'll do control S to save this. Now file is saved. Key and endpoint. Now it's taking review.txt one file. Okay, as the input. Uh, then review text two, three, and four. 
So there are four files is taking as input. And then these are all the files available here on this GitHub repository. Okay. And using our key and endpoint, it's connecting to the text service or analytics, text analytics endpoint, which is this one. So this is the base URL and then the remaining URL part for text analytics version 3.1 we are using and then it's sending those text for a review so it's making a call here http call post method okay so it's calling text analytics service and based on that it will return a result which will be converted to json and that json result will be shown to us okay so there are two calls happening for key phrases and for language analytics then third is for sentiment so total three calls we can see here and all the three results will be shown to us also linking call so there are total four calls happening in this powershell script text analytics entities linking text analytics sentiment text analytics for key phrases and text analytics for language total four api calls being done next once all these uh, details are filled or with key key value and the endpoint value we are going to run this partial script to do that we have to change the directory to ai 900 so we'll run a command here cd slash ai 900 press tab and it will select this folder press enter so now we are into ai 900 directory let me just move it up here and then we have to run this command so this is analyzed text partial script and we will run this for review one dot text file and it is detecting the language first which is english language with 0 0.99 score or almost 99 percent then we have these key phrases available royal hotel good hotel good service good great location buckingham palace all these keywords and location here then we have analyzing sentiments so in the analyzing sentiments, it's a positive sentiment based on the scores. We can see 0 0.92 positive, 0 0.08 neutral and 0 0.01. So there is a very less chance of negative sentiment, also less chance of neutral sentiment and 0 0.92 or almost 92% of positive sentiment. Also identifying non-entities. So it's trying to identify these entities like good music from wikipedia so all these keywords are being identified from wikipedia location so you can read about these different uh, information about these entities from wikipedia pages so it's linked to wikipedia pages as well so if you want to know more about these entities you can go to these respective wikipedia pages and understand about these entities so that was about the review text one file so we are analyzing first review basically let's do this or repeat this for second review so i'll just change to review two dot text and it will try to review analyze review two file so this review two file is also in english okay key phrases that are part of this review is this these uh, phrases or these key phrases then we see this is more of a negative uh, sentiment or negative review okay positive 0 neutral 0 0.02 and negative is 0 0.97 and the entities that are identified are linked to these wiki pages so you can read about these entities from these wiki pages and this was a negative review next this is the third review okay and here you can see uh, those reviews 
uh, that we have in these text files are also shown here, which will tell you about more about uh, what kind of review is this when you read through this. So if you can see average becoming bit old, okay, did not work, internet did not work. So this is more of a complaining is going on within this review, right? So it's a negative review. Here it's a positive review, okay. We thoroughly enjoyed our stay, right? The cost was plenty of fish, okay. Taste and menu was uh, fabulous, right? Enormous bathroom, okay. Thoroughly recommended. So these are all positive sentiments shown here. Now let's review, analyze the review third, or third review. So I'll run this partial script for third review file and here we can see the language is English okay these are the key phrases within that and these are the sentiments so positive 0 0.8 neutral 0 0.05 and negative 0 0.14 so it's around 80 percent positive uh, sentiment under this review and these are the entities linked to the wikipedia page okay so this is for review third review next we are going to run this powershell script for fourth review and this will analyze the fourth review it's also english language then mixed sentiment based on these scores okay because if you see none of these are really uh, great uh, probability it's 34 percent 58 percent negative and 0.07 percent neutral and the entities that were found within the review text is all these uh, entities and all those entities are now linked to this wikipedia urls so you can read about these entities on this wikipedia url okay so that's how uh, we can analyze uh, text for key phrases for sentiments for language detection and uh, the entities or the keywords mentioned within those reviews okay so we have run this text analytics for four review files we can run it for multiple files and what we need is a text analytics service of azure and to work with that we need a base url or the endpoint and the key to access the service okay. that's it so that's it in this uh, video tutorial and if you like my video please like share subscribe and comment also click on the notification icon and enable it uh, so that once I post new videos, you'll get notified and you can check that new videos as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.